Have you ever wondered why you keep getting rejected after cloud interviews? Why no matter how hard you try, you never receive a job offer? It could be because you're not following the secret rules to succeed in the cloud interviews. These are the unspoken rules that I have discovered in my five plus years of working in the cloud industry. I haven't really seen anyone else talk about these secret rules, so make sure you take some notes as you watch this video because it could be the difference between success and failure at your next interview. If you're excited to learn more, make sure you smash that like button so I know to make more videos like this. Before I dive into the rules, I have a quick disclaimer. These rules will not work if you haven't put in the work to make yourself employable. Now, what does it mean to make yourself employable? It means that you have a strong understanding of cloud fundamentals and DevOps technologies. It means that you've completed multiple high quality cloud projects that you can talk about in the interviews. And it means that you should have written a high quality resume that attracts recruiters and gets them to pick up the phone and call you. Once you've completed the steps I've just mentioned, you'll be able to utilize these secret roles to the maximum potential and give yourself the best chance of getting that job offer. If you want to learn more about the simple steps to make yourself more employable, I have created a free guide that walks you through everything you need to know. It's a proven blueprint that's already helped hundreds of people. So make sure you download it right now. Link is in the description below. Now that we've got all of that out of the way, let's jump into the secret rules that will help you succeed in the cloud interviews. Let's go. One of the biggest mistakes I see candidates make when interviewing is that they go in completely unprepared. They think they can just wing it and everything will be fine. This is a huge mistake. The first secret rule is that those who fail to prepare, prepare to fail. This means that before you attend any interviews, you need to prepare as much as possible. Think of yourself as an actor before you go on stage. Most actors don't just go on the stage and start reading Shakespeare. No, there's weeks and even months of rehearsal so that when they're on stage, they know all their lines, they know what's meant to happen and they're ready to go. This is what your interview should be like. You should make sure you've prepared as much as possible before the interview. Now I can hear you shouting through the screen. What's the best way to prepare for interviews? How do I do this successfully? Don't worry, I got you. First thing I do when I'm preparing for interviews is I go on the company's website and I find out everything about them. What do they do? Have they won any awards? What are their business goals and objectives? Your aim is to find out interesting information about them that you can talk about in your interviews. For example, do they use a lot of cutting edge innovative technologies? You can say you want to work for them because of that. Have they won any awards? Bring that up too. One of the most powerful things you can say in an interview is this. I saw on your website that you want to make the world a better place with your software. I really believe in this mission and this is why I applied to this role because I think my skills can contribute to that mission. By saying that, you've put yourself ahead of all the other candidates because it shows that you care about that company in particular rather than just other people who are applying to a hundred different jobs. Like you want to work at that specific company because you believe in their mission and you believe in what they're trying to do. So put yourself ahead of the competition by researching the company and making sure you bring up your research in the interview. Another important component in the research phase is to make sure you find out what the most common cloud interview questions are and rehearse your answers until you can recite them in your sleep. I want to be able to wake you up at two in the morning, ask you those questions, and you give me the answers confidently and clearly. I'm always surprised by candidates who fail to do this. So for example, I'll ask them a simple question like, tell me about the cloud projects you've worked on, and they're not prepared to answer this. They start to arm and are and try to think about the projects they've done. You know this question is gonna come up, so rehearse your answer to it. Make sure you're ready to answer that. By rehearsing your answers and knowing what you're going to say ahead of the interview, you appear confident and competent, which will put you ahead of the competition. Your responses will flow more smoothly because you've rehearsed ahead of time rather than trying to think of something on the spot. If you want to know how to respond to the top five most asked cloud interview questions, check out this video I've made. The link should appear somewhere on your screen. 
and watch that after this to get you prepared as possible for your next interview. I also have a module in the Cloud Career Mentor program, which is all about how to answer both technical and non-technical cloud interview questions. So you can gain access to that at cloudcareermentor.com. Link is in the description below. Before we move on to the next secret rule, I wanna give you one final tip on researching your responses to common interview questions. And that tip is to tailor your responses to the job description you've been given. For example, example, if the job description leans more towards serverless and programming, make sure your answers emphasize your Python skills, any serverless projects you've done, make sure that's the dominant response. If they lean more towards CICD, again, make sure you tailor your answers to that. You can still talk about all your other skills, but you want to tailor your responses to what the company is looking for. So many people give generic answers in interviews. By tailoring your responses, you're more likely to stand out and be given an offer. The next secret rule is one that seems really obvious, but it's also one that I see a lot of candidates neglecting to do. And this is all about how you come across in the interview. More precisely, your body language. I read an article recently that said something like between 70 and 90% of all communication is non-verbal. This means that the interview is not only about what you say, but also how you say it as well. This means that when you walk into an interview room or when you join that Zoom call, smile, you know, be positive, have an open body language. A lot of candidates get nervous in interviews, which is totally understandable. I've been there as well. And this leads them to act all nervous and uncomfortable. But by appearing nervous, you're subtly telling the interviewer that you're not qualified for this job, you're out of your depth, and this makes them less likely to give you an offer. I know it's really unfair, but that's just how the world works. So next time you join an interview, I just want you to be relaxed, smile, be confident and act like you're just having a conversation rather than an interview. I think that's the best way to approach it, like a conversation. Because by being relaxed, it also helps the interviewer be relaxed and comfortable. And it encourages them to see you as someone who will fit in well with the team because they feel comfortable with you, which in turn makes them more likely to give you that offer. And remember, confidence comes once you're prepared. So again, referring back to secret rule number one, be prepared because if you don't have to think of answers on the spot, you're more likely to appear confident and be confident because you are ready. As mentioned at the start of this episode, before you can be successful with these secret rules, you need to make sure you're as employable as possible because no matter how well you come across, if you don't have the projects or the skills to back it up, you're not gonna go far. If you need help building the right skills to be as employable as possible, to get high quality cloud projects, to sharpen your skills, to learn the best interview techniques and how to write a resume that attracts employers, why not check us out at cloudcareermentor.com? Because I believed with the right learning plan and the right support, anyone can get into the cloud industry. So check us out, link is in the description below. And if you wanna find out the top five cloud interview questions, why not watch this video? Click it, go on, click it, watch it now. See you in the next one.